These are my youngest students. Every Wednesday afternoon, they come to paint in my art studio. In this video, you can see how they create a mixed media angel in a few lessons. The children start with designing patterns. As inspiration, we use the patterns from the paintings of the Austrian artist Gustav Klimt. The children take that over in one of the boxes on their A4 sheets. Next, they can come up with their own pattern designs. There are also books with Arabic and Turkish patterns. Especially Senna and Anifa like this. In the meanwhile, I call children to me one by one and sometimes in pairs to paint a background on a wooden panel. They work with a roller to put down the first layer. You can see that for most girls, blue is the favorite background color. Some girls choose just like the postcard of my angel, see, for different colors, for example, the ground and for the sky. The children who have finished designing different patterns color them with markers and various gel pens. The more materials they use for this, the more refined and detailed it becomes. At the end of the lesson, everyone has at least made a background on the wooden panel and quite a few patterns. Some children are already a bit further and have colored patterns and traced them on tissue paper. In the next lesson, there are only four children present. At the beginning of the lesson, I explained to them how to put together a dress based on angels I made myself. Now, uh, dit zou dus al een jurk kunnen zijn. Tada! Some children start by tracing the patterns on tissue paper. Those who are ready with that can put together the dress. They use their own pattern papers, pre-processed papers and also I show how to use cake papers for a lace border on the dress. Nou, met die kan je hetzelfde doen, maar wat kan je met deze nog meer, denk je? Scheur dit zo uit en dan is dit een jurk met kant. Zo, de onderkant. Zie je? Dat is hartstikke leuk. Dan gaan we het zo nog even af. En die doorzichtige stukken, die kan je hier ook nog overheen doen. Anifa and Senna really like to use leaves and flowers from my backyard. Some children immediately know how they want to do it. With others, putting together the angel goes step by step. Anifa and Senna start with the ground and then they build up the dress. Dewarture works out her beautiful pattern on thin paper and turns it into a plaited skirt. Mm -hmm. 
Shanaira creates the dress from many different pieces of paper, like a patchwork dress. The next step is to paint the face with acrylic paint and then dry their work with the hairdryer. After that, they draw the eyes, nose and mouth with markers and pens and make their hairs with paint again. Most children want to give wings to their angel. Dierger uses the template. Anifa makes the wings of a dried seed bag of the perennial honestly that happened to be still on the table. And Senna uses the template. Here you can see the results of the four children who worked for nine. Top left, Dibertje. Top right, Shanaida. Bottom left, Senna. Bottom right, Hanifa. She even made an extra angel on a Christmas card. In the final lesson, all the children are present. Some girls are ready and do something else. The others will complete their angel today, like Afke and Riem, who have already made a part of the dress. It's all about tracing patterns, assembling dresses, creating faces, and finally, wings. It's time to make the face also for Jill and Afke. For Shanaira, it is already the third lesson that she works concentrated and patiently on her angel. That's why it will be so beautiful. Cat Pearl watches from the windowsill. And here you can see the end results of this amazing group of girls. Thank you, Jill, Reem, Sadin, Shanaira, Afka, Diwatje, Hanifa, Senna and Asme for working with me. For those who want to make an angel themselves, watch my video about the online course Mixed Media Angels. Thanks for watching. Bye.